I really want to talk about Assassin's Creed Shadows right now. Whenever it comes to video games, I really like talking about them because I feel like they're always there's always something interesting going on, and never more so than probably Assassin's Creed Shadows right now. Now there's been obviously some <laughs> issues with the game. I'd say they've been getting a lot of attention, a lot of feedback, positive and negative, uh, for their current approach to their game. And you know, I recently made a video about the game. Uh, how I haven't been a fan of its combat probably since probably I think Assassin's Creed 3 um, They a lot of their combat system. I mean they even talked about this. I think uh, Before that they felt like their combat system was getting uh, very repetitive It was pretty much the same game over and over again just like with a different story and I, I could agree with that I think ever since probably Assassin's Creed 2 there Starting from Assassin's Creed 2, their combat started becoming more repetitive. Because I know in Assassin's Creed 2, it was uh, it was a new system, com well, kind of the same system like uh, Assassin's Creed 1, but they really expanded on it with 2, and then even more in Brotherhood. And I think from then on, they really just started making the same game in uh, Brotherhood, Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4. Um, I think they could tell that their games were becoming very much the same thing. They were turning out almost like... The, the same type of game like uh, Call of Duty does whenever they pump out a new Call of Duty. And I guess they wanted to change that approach. And I think that's why they came out with Assassin's Creed Unity. And I think Unity really crashed and burned because uh, I think at its initial launch, it was like really bad. It was really bad. It was like extremely bad. I recognized that immediately when I started playing it, there were so many bugs. And after that, they just, they backed off that approach and then they moved on with Origins. Origins, I was never a fan of it because they introduced the new RPG elements into the game. Uh, in an Assassin's Creed game, you would expect to assassinate people regardless of their level. In Assassin's Creed Origins, if you were not high enough level, they would remain having like half health. Or you would take a, like, a small portion of their health and they would survive. I always thought that was stupid and I and I will always say that's fucking stupid. I don't know if they ever remove that that feature from the game into like Odyssey and then Valhalla. I don't know because I stopped playing. I never I've stopped playing Assassin's Creed games probably after Origin. Origin is where I decided that the game was no longer uh, what I liked and I I've, I've always hated what it what it looked like it was becoming. Because, I mean, ever since Origins, it was like an RPG, and I never thought Assassin's Creed should be an RPG. I hated the combat from Origins, I hated the, the way the stealth was done in Origins. And the stealth, to be honest, the stealth hasn't changed either. The stealth has been the same type of stealth since Assassin's Creed fucking 2. Uh, they keep adding new things, which is nice, but it, it was never, like, impressive enough for me to, like, keep buying the new Assassin's Creed, because I'm like, it's not that great. Like, I think Assassin's Creed 3 was probably the one where stealth has stayed the same, I'm assuming. Because that's where they introduced that you could hide in, like, shrubs, I believe. Uh, like, grass, like, tall grass, you could hide under it. You could hide in, like, the same hidden feet, like, hide on top of rooftops, you know, away from sight. Like, it's the same thing in every Assassin's Creed game, I'm assuming now. Because even though, like, they, they wanted to change their approach to combat, they never changed their approach to stealth. They never added new features. It's the same fucking thing. And it pissed me off, so I was like, you know what, I think I'm done with Assassin's Creed. And that, that, that's been my approach to it ever since, ever, for, for I think, after Assassin's Creed Origins. And I think with Shadows, it revitalized me, my, my interest, because of the stealth. I saw the combat with, you, I'm not even going to talk about uh, the, the other controversy right now, Let me, I just want to focus on the gameplay right now. But I saw the gameplay for the game when, you were, when they were playing as Yasuke. Uh, I thought it was fucking stupid. Um, I still think it's stupid. I think the combat is fucking ridiculous. I don't want to play that type of uh, game style in an Assassin's Creed game. Uh, it looks... It reminds me of God of War. And when I think about Assassin's Creed, I don't want to be thinking about God of War. If they had to pick a combat style, I, I would have... I would have hoped they went to something else other than this shit, but it looks like they're gonna keep doing this and I don't want to play that with that. If it was just that, I probably would have said like, you know, fuck Assassin's Creed Shadows, it's not a- it's a game I don't want to play. But I think when they- when they introduce the stealth aspect to it, like with, uh, I think her name is Nawe, when you want to actually like do stealth, it- it- that revitalized my interest in Assassin's Creed. 
because it looked like the logical step in, in terms of an Assassin's Creed game. It should really just focus on stealth, improving the uh, stealthy approach. Like when I think about of a decent, like a decent stealth game, I think about like Metal Gear, Dishonored. Uh, those are the only two games I can think of right now. But I mean, those are like really the best ones. Like Dishonored One is fantastic. Dishonored Two is a little bit more of Dishonored One, but it's still fun. Metal Gear Solid Five is like like the pinnacle stealth game I think like every time I like I would have hoped that Assassin's Creed would be like kind of like Metal Gear at this point but it's not it's fucking terrible well when I saw Shadows I saw that it was it reminded me a little bit about Metal Gear because I saw that you can go prone you can like you can graph people now instead of just straight up assassinating them and then you could like turn off the lights you could stab people through like paper mache doors which like seems smart I'm like those are those are cool things that I feel like they should have been in like introduce into like past Assassin's Creed games like you know going prone and shit like hiding underwater and using like a bamboo straw to breathe I thought that was cool I was like wow that's that's so awesome like I hope that with like the main targets there's multiple multiple approaches to get to them and maybe like taking them out I feel like that would make the game even a lot better too that's that's personally my opinion and I hope that's what they do but I'm not sure if they'll do that but then who knows hopefully with the next coming weeks of gameplay i'm hoping that it is but who knows we'll see now in terms of like the, the issues that they're receiving it seems to be that it mostly involves the uh, one of their choices they made in what and uh, having a black protagonist in their game and a lot of people are not unha not very happy and i can see why it's it's an assassin's creed game in japan and like the first thing like the first thought in your head is like oh well, I mean, it's going to be Japanese uh, Japanese main characters, right? Well, not in a Ubisoft game. So, I mean, Ubisoft is known for uh, having, what is it, diversity in their games. They love doing it, and they will, I assume they'll always keep doing it, regardless of whether people want it or not. And, you know, that's their choice to make, I guess. And I think one of the main issues that people say they have is that he's Yusuke is being uh, advertised as a samurai and i think that was always a point of contention in history in japanese history i believe that he wasn't or he might have been or no real there's not like that's one of the the that's probably one of the smartest things that ubisoft did is probably ch picking his character due to the fact that it's such there's like little known things about him like that's if i was the writer that would be like a decent like i'm assuming that's what the writers thought like this is a pretty interesting character Nothing's known about him, so that means we could really, like, go wherever we want with his story. Like, I'm assuming that was their choice. And it's a smart choice, really. And hopefully it pays off. But honestly, when it comes to Assassin's Creed games, their story really is the dumbest. It hasn't been good. Ever since, like, the first game, the story hasn't been good. It's been stupid. It really has been stupid. The most interesting part about Assassin's Creed uh, games has been the... The, the, the future so basically the story is that you, you're playing as Desmond Miles and you're and you're living through the your ancestors past memories through like a, a machine called the Animus and the most interesting part about Assassin's Creed was the fact that I think since from Assassin's Creed 1 to 3 everything was connected through Desmond Miles and that was like the only interesting thing about the game was like oh wow what does this have to do with like the first civilization and how is this gonna affect like what, what is he gonna escape or oh, all right we escaped all right what's gonna happen with the present-day assassins and the present day Templars, and then they killed them in Assassin's Creed 3. And ever since then, I think the story has been fucking uninteresting for the longest time and a waste of time, really. Because that was like, I was like, oh wow, that's cool. And then, oh wow, it's gone. What's the, uh, whatever. It's stupid. I don't really care anymore. And when it comes to story, like, yeah, Yasuke is probably like a decent, it would be decent to see how you'd play it with his story. But I'm pretty sure, like, from past experience and Ubisoft like past uh, Assassin's Creed games, it's probably gonna be shit. Not because the character is probably gonna be shit, but just because in general Ubisoft games have had shit stories for a while now, which sucks, but it's the truth. Like, Far Cry games have been shit for a while. Their characters are interesting, but their stories are fucking terrible. I love Far Cry 3, but Voss was the only interesting thing about Far Cry 3. Hoyt was fucking stupid, and he was like the real antagonist. Far Cry 4, Pagan Men which is, was interesting, but everyone else was fucking boring. Uh, Far Cry 5, don't even give a shit about Far Cry 5. Far Cry 6 had Gustavo Freen from Breaking Bad, and he couldn't save the fucking story for that piece of shit. And I think Assassin's Creed games have been fucking boring for a while now. 
unfortunately, but I mean, that's just my opinion. The only thing I really care about is the stealth for the new Assassin's Creed Shadows. I have no real reason to care about anything else. And I mean, Ubisoft doesn't care anyway. I mean, they purposely didn't make an Assassin's Creed game in Japan for a while. I know fans were at, we were at, we were hoping they would choose it one day, but I mean, they never wanted to. They, I think they only really decided to after they saw how good Sekiro did and how Ghost of Tsushima was like getting like, was also like very anticipated and then when it released, they're like, oh wow, we could really like make money. And I think those were the, the real two reasons why they finally decided to move to that, uh, that area and, and work in, and work on a game set in Japan. And yeah, I mean, that's really my opinion right now so far on the, uh, on the issues with Assassin's Creed Shadows. I mean, they're not really issues, they're just... They're their personal issues that they that the developers and the, the marketing team has to deal with. I mean, but yeah, it's smart though. I mean, picking a this is like free advertising, man. They have like free marketing from like so many people like either attacking the game or defending the game. It's really the best. It's really the best form of marketing, honestly. It's smart. It's smart as shit. I mean, personally, I just want to play the stealth. Like, I really don't care about the story. The story is probably gonna be dog shit anyway. The characters are gonna be fucking boring as shit. I just care about the stealth because the stealth was like. It, I don't want to. I don't want to say it's like Metal Gear Solid Five. It just reminded me a little bit about it, because in Metal Gear Five, I remember you could, you could graph people and like interrogate them and do shit like that. And this this most similar thing you could do to Metal Gear and Assassin's Creed Five, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a uh, you could graph people by the hair and just pull them in another room and knock them out. And I think you could go prone. And I mean, I just want those types of little interactions in an Assassin's Creed game. I feel like the logical step in an Assassin's Creed game is to is for it to focus more on stealth. It shouldn't be combat. I I know that like they have to add combat because I I mean at this point it's woven into their game. But I really do think stealth should be the main approach to how they're developing the Assassin's Creed games from now on because I think stealth. It, there's not that many stealth games, honestly. It's mostly shooters, mostly RPG style, and more, mostly fucking, like, uh, and, uh, action. RPG action games are usually, like, like, fucking... It's, there's so many of them, like, and you, Sony has so many of those action RPG games. God of War, uh, Horizon, that Horizon game, Zero Dawn. Like, those are action RPG, like, they have, like, even, even Spider-Man is an action RPG. They're, they're all, they're all action RPGs, man. Every single one of them. And it's, it's so, they all have, every, any enemy has a level, and it's so annoying, dude. Assassin's Creed was never an RPG, and it shouldn't have been, it should have focused on stealth. I still think it could, should focus on stealth. It could probably be a better game. It could be a much better game with stealth, and they probably won't listen anyway, because they're stupid. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go probably play with my butt. Or I'm probably, you know what, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go think about what Assassin's Creed could have been. Uh, have a good one.